Oh, he knows what a handshake is. Good. And with that, Monica joined my adventure. An adventure to take back the true past. The true history that had been stolen by Emperor Griffin. Chapter 2. Resurrection of the Great Elder. Resurrection! The Elder Scroll. Monica has joined you. Do you need to tell me? Ah, oh, Armbed Repair Powder, nice. Let's start with Sindane. Sindane? Yeah, it's over there. Max, oh. you go on without me. I'll just stay here and work on getting Blackstone running again. If you need my help, just holler. Why did he turn around like he said something, but he didn't really say anything? Hey, Max, we're gonna have to work hard to shift this boulder. Bring back anything good you find in the forest. Make sure you let us know if you need a hand. Okay, take care of yourself, Max. And you too, little girly pie. Girly pie? What does that you mean? Bet. Okay, let's go. Ah, she's gonna walk inside me. Oh, okay. People join you in the adventure, you put them on a train. Oh yeah. Putting them on the train, yeah. Monica! Ooh! She runs of a sprint! Sindane! Oh, I can save her. Why am I trying to save like that? Dum bam bum bum. What's that red text say? I should quickly unplug the power button. Oh, no. Sindane, he's Magic. Uh, oh, there we go. What's that? What's that? Uh, pff. well, gee, it's a fucking house, dude. It's a house all by itself. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Maybe we should investigate. Maybe we should break inside a bear's house and start eating their porridge and wrecking their shit. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. We'll sleep in their beds. Someone's there. Wow. What? Ah. Ah. What is it? What do you two want? Hey, you're from the Furbit tribe of Sindane, aren't you? It's so cute, all curly and everything. <laughs> That's right! There's something I want to ask you, okay? Maybe you should let go of his damn mustache? You... you... this is how you ask a favor? Oh, sorry. Oh! Who does that? Oh, oh, oh! Have you heard of a being here named Jurak? Ah! That's not a response, dude. He got so mad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I ain't gonna, and I ain't gonna point at her. She's gonna get really pissed. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, okay, they didn't even lock the door. We don't have padlocks or anything. Oh, okay. Nobody's home. I hear the Furbits are crazy about grape juice. Uh. I don't mean to sound racist, but isn't that a black racial slur thing? And we brought all this grape juice, too. Now what are we gonna do? If he won't let us in, I guess we'll just have to throw it away. And we have all this roasted chicken. <laughs> well, that worked. Oh. Come in. This is creepy. Hey, it worked. Better be careful when you're walking into a Keebler ha elf house. <laughs> oh shit! They're armed. <laughs> Where's the grape juice, motherfucker? Awkward. Well, look at that! Three of them. Is that uh what she said, pun? Oh, you want 
want the grape juice, huh? I'm sorry, I lied. Well, it'll cost ya. Careful, these bitches are dangerous, I imagine. Hmm, let's see. I've heard you furbits have a mysterious magical power to make things like houses and plants. What are you getting at? I want you to use that power to help us. She's totally leading the adventure now. <laughs> help you? You probably know there's something strange going on. The whole world has become like one big deserted island. Everything's disappeared. At this rate, there won't be anything left in the future. I want you to use your building power to rebuild a town in this time. No way! It's too much work! Besides, we got no time for that, so just run along now, will ya? What do you mean you don't have time for that? <laughs> Even if I told you, it wouldn't change a thing. Hold on, Rococo. Rococo? <gasps> okay, you two, I think I understand. Come on over here and have a seat. The name's Conda. Condom? This here's Rococo. And this is Tobo. Pleased to meet you. So, who might you two be? I'm Max. This is Monica. Greetings, Condom. I'm Monica. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. You know there's something wrong with the world, right? A great darkness is trying to distort the flow of time. Hmm. I was beginning to wonder about what was happening to our forest. Of course, I'd like to help out, but... To be honest, we're in a bit of a fix ourselves. Even if we wanted to, we can't help you till we solve our own problems. What's wrong? Tell us about it. Hmm. It's a long story, but it must have been about a year ago or so. One day, a beautiful woman got lost and wandered in here. We don't like humans too much, so we approached her carefully. Humans are crafty, cunning creatures. That's how we've always thought of you. Yeah, well, look at the face. It definitely seems sinister. But mm. this woman was different, she was. Her soul was more beautiful than words can describe. It's funny, because the head with the shadowing looks out of place. Said her name was Holly. I had a feeling that wasn't her real name, but that didn't matter a bit. During the few days and weeks she was with us, she wove a sort of spell over us all. She had us in the palm of her hand. Is this kind of like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? I don't realize this. Then, one day out of the blue, something happened. Holly left to search for food and just disappeared into the forest, never to return. A few days went by and still no Holly. Although we the so six of them. Sad. It was like our hearts had been broken into a million little pieces. There was no way we could go on without her. In those few short weeks, she had become an essential part of our lives. She was part of us all. Yeah, yeah it looks like there's six of them on screen right now. So we formed a search party to search for Holly. A search party to search for Holly, okay. A party of four set out for Rainbow Butterfly Wood, where she disappeared that day. Rainbow Butterfly Wood, that's a dungeon, right? Yeah, yeah. okay, just shut up and listen. But those four haven't come back yet either. I was sure I picked the most able-bodied of our tribe, but they turned out to be a bunch of goofs. So basically, at this point in time, I'm afraid we can't help you two out. You want us to use our special powers to help you, but the thing is, all seven of us have to be here in order for it to work. It is seven. <laughs> okay. Besides, we're really not in a helping mood. I'm pretty sure you understand. That's quite a story. Mm. I have a proposition to make. I bet I can guess. You want us to go into the woods and find your four friends, right? You mean you'll help us? Could you also keep an eye out for Holly? Each day without her brings us nothing but gloom. I understand. Four or five, what's the difference? So what does this Holly look like anyway? Any special features? Special features, let me see. Must have been something. Um, uh, ah, her hair. It was long, I think. No, wait. Maybe it was short, I think. 
They're really helpful. Wait, that's it. The potato pies used to make were the greatest. Oh, that's Max's favorite food. That's right. They were mighty tasty. Yeah, incredible. Potato pies? Well, that's not really a feature. <laughs> oh, forget it. Potato pie? Uh, what? Because it's my favorite food, we need a cutscene revolving that around it. reminded me of the potato pies you made for me when I was a kid. They were so warm, eating them would always cheer me up. The most delicious potato pies in the whole world. We were Irish, if you hadn't noticed. Could it be the holly that the Furbits talked about was actually you, Mother? Just thinking that made my heart beat faster. Could be just a coincidence. <laughs> this was the other reason that I wanted to see the world, so that I could find you again, Mother. Mother? Even though the world had been laid waste, I had a feeling that you were out there. Somewhere. Always an optimist. Uh, right. more cutscene. It's just beyond here. Lately, there seem to be some nasty monsters living in these parts. Watch yourselves now. Magic, Daya. Okay, you may. Oh my God, you destroyed me. Legend has it that in these woods lives a mysterious rainbow-colored butterfly. And anyone who lays eyes upon that butterfly never leaves the woods again. You know, I wonder if Holly and the search party we sent out went and accidentally found themselves that rainbow butterfly. Just be careful not to run into that rainbow butterfly. What do you mean, be careful? What could we possibly do to prevent it? If that happens... If that happens? Just pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> huh? Well, whatever. Okay, we're off. Oh, <laughs> take this with you, boy. Well, whatever. What's this? It's the Furbit's favorite thing in the world. Grape juice. Grape juice. Ah, oh, my mouth waters at the sight of it. If you have this with you, those guys just might smell you and come running. Uh, I changed my mind. Give that back. Okay, I got you. Thanks, Conda. Good. I'll be here waiting for you. I wish you good luck. Later, Condom. What a nice man. Give me some grape juice. I'm thirsty. No, Max. That's for the furbles. What's the save point? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Condom. Mm-hmm.